Hello guys, thanks for joining me today for this new tutorial. Today I'm going to talk about Vault Warden. It's going to be a mix between Bitwarden and Vault Warden. We're going to use a Bitwarden Chrome extension. So before we start, don't forget to like, subscribe, click on the bell icon so you get notified anytime I make a new video. Here we go, we are on Bitwarden.com. We are only going to use the extension and then we're going to use the Vault Warden version. That I believe is much much simpler even to install on Casa OS. This is where we're going to install a Casa OS. So Bitwarden, as you can see, it is the extension for Chrome. All you got to do go to the or uh, extension for a web store and add to the browser. Once that's been done, then we have the first part done and covered. Here we go. The browser extension has been installed. So I'm going to remove those tabs. I'm going to make sure it's pinned on the top barrier, as you can see. And this is the actual installation for Vault Warden. You can find the information on uh, Docker Hub. I'm going to insert, sorry, on GitHub. I'm going to insert all the links in the description. Don't worry. I'm going to use the NGX proxy manager. So I'm going to create a subdomain and I'm going to redirect. So I'm going to attach to my domain so you can actually see. Um, if you've seen my previous tutorial, you know exactly how it works. We're going to use also certificate. This is very important. You need an SSL certificate to make this to work properly. I'm going to go on app install here. I'm going to create a new app. Then I'm going to copy the pull version of the server, which app I'm going to pull. And I'm going to paste it here. This is the actual Docker image. I'm going to copy the Vault Warden. Lazy not to type it. There we go. Then you need the icon. Again, if you don't know where to get the icon, just leave the actual default like I am going to here. Now I'm going to use a port. Now make sure you don't use the port that you're already using it at other places. I'm going to use the port 9090 because I'm not using that one. And the container port is going to be 80. The protocol TCP, that's fine. For the volumes, we're going to go to container and dash data. And for the host, we're going to use the home slash docker slash. And I'm going to call it Vault Warden. I'm not going to move anything else. I'm happy the way it is. It's going to be very low powered so you don't need a lot of stuff and i'm going to click on install and i'm going to wait until the installation is being done all right so while it's installing what we're going to do we're going to start to go to cloudfare and create a subdomain we already got the vault warden installed here as you can see here but let's go to cloudfare so we are loading the dashboard i'm going to add a record and i'm going to choose C name. For the name, I'm going to put the name of the subdomain, in this case VW, as Vault Warden. And for the target, I'm going to add my domain name, opensourcechannel.uk. Again, guys, don't forget to like, subscribe, share the video so I can do more videos. And I'm going to click save. Once that has been done, I'm happy. All I'm going to do is just log out and go to a different place. Job done. I'm going to close the tab. Now, when I'm going to the Oversoul channel, I should have a problem with the port 1990. That's redirect. So it only, it works because I got to do it. 1990 is the actual port. But what I'm going to do, I need to add the proxy. So I'm going to do the domain name as VW, Vault Warden, channel.uk. The IP, in this case, is going to be 192.168.1.115 uh, for me. Again, yours will be different. And the actual port was going to be 9090. So 9090. I'm going to block the common exploits, WebSocket support, and I'm going to leave everything the rest. No SSL because I'm going to use the Cloudflare one. And I'm going to press save. Nothing on advanced. So let's do it with save. Right, so we save it. And there we go. We got the new subdomain. Now let's remove the 1990 there. Now we got this, that is port 80 for uh, Nginx. All I gotta do now is add the VW. No, there is an error with, it does take time. You know, I wanna make sure you understand it does take time that, you know, to do the actual DNS. 
So, you know, it's not something you do at the end. You've got to wait a little bit longer. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to create the uh, password with the new password and the master password while, you know, the DNS is propagated. So I'm going to create a master password. Make sure you got a strong password here. Again, I'm using, this is just for tutorial, use a real email, username, you can make something more, uh, you know, more difficult to guess rather than under the main. I'm going to retype really my master password and I can actually, that's optional, you can actually add a hint for your password. Once you're happy, you press submit. As you can see here, it says you need an HTTPS to do this. It's important you do HTTPS. So let's see if that comes and it works all right. It's still not uh, propagated properly. So I'm gonna redo again. Let's see if it works now. I waited about 20 minutes and as you can see, after 20 minutes, the actual um, DNS has been propagated properly. Right, so we are now with the domain name and the subdomain with the SSL certificate. And what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna recreate again the account. So uh, I changed the, the name from admin to my name Hal, and I'm gonna put the master password and I'm going to retype the password. Again, make sure you use the proper email, otherwise you won't be able to retrieve some of the information or retrieve an account if you need to. So I'm gonna submit and now everything should be working properly. And as you can see, has been created. All I'm gonna do is just add the master password and I should be ready to go. And as you can see, we are already inside the my um, Vault Warden admin side. So again, now we got the, what we're gonna do now, we're gonna go to the server. This is the actual uh, app that I, or widgets that I downloaded from uh, the Chrome store. Um, I just added the, um, let's go back again here, the server URL, and I'm gonna save it. And as you can see, that's been done, the environment, everything works perfectly. Now we're gonna do add the email address and the password. Now don't forget, that is the actual login and password that we just created a few moments ago, all right? This is, you need to understand that. So just in case you, which, you don't know which one, that's the one we, I just created earlier on with Al. For example, that is the email, and I'm going to add the master password, and I'm gonna save it, and everything, works fine or as you can see this is ready to go and record all the logins and password from websites i'm going to give you a little demonstration how it works and how it works i mean i go many different ones as well i'm using but i think this is what i'm going to do in the future i'm going to use my own um, password server here so as you can see we got a file browser and we got some of the login i'm going to press login uh, and as you can see, it actually says, if you want to save now, even though it is wrong credentials, you can actually save it. So let's go back in. And as you can see, the actual website has been saved. Again, I know it's wrong credential, but it doesn't really matter. It's just to show you that the actual system works okay. So when I'm going to refresh now the page, you will see in the list, you will see, let's go back, put in the master password again. If you refresh, it just logs you out automatically for security. And that's a pretty good thing. So let's say no thanks. And as you can see, in my vault, we got the first website that has been saved. All right, guys. So thanks so much for joining me for this tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did making it. And I'll see you next time.